Hey guys, how are you? So a question I get on a regular basis is putting tutorial projects on your website, having these tutorial projects that you got from one of my tutorial projects or some other person's tutorial projects, by showcasing these on your website, which you use to show prospective employers uh, so that you can get a job. Is this going to help much? This video is sponsored by Xyro.com. This is a website builder that not only provides a visual template, it actually provides shopping cart functionality so you can sell on Facebook, Instagram, and Amazon. It's all included in one place. It comes with a whole bunch of templates. You can see that everything loads very, very quickly. The templates are, of course, responsive. As you guys know, I've been a big advocate of website builders as a professional tool for a long time. So why not give Zyro a try? Use the coupon code MISCHUCK to get 30% off. Zyro makes it very affordable to set up a website. In fact, they tell me it's the most affordable website builder in the business. So why not check out Zyro? Here's the coupon code again for 30% off. Xyro not only provides a bunch of templates, they also provide a website builder with drag and drop functionality. It even has an AI writer tool to generate your text. Your sites are SEO friendly and even come with a free SSL certificate with your custom domain. Short answer is not really too much. Eh, maybe a tiny little bit maybe a tiny little bit, but when they see that it's just a tutorial that you've done, you just copy the tutorial. That is not being a coder. You have to understand, being a coder is being a problem solver, is somebody who can see a potential job that has to be done and is able to use the power of your nudo, of your brain, to uh, figure out how to solve that problem with code, whether you're doing Ruby, we don't want to do Ruby. Whether you're doing Python or JavaScript or PHP or Java or C Sharp, whatever. Doesn't matter the technology. The point is, you're so much better off to show real world projects that you've done for real companies. So when I what what I teach the noobs, when I teach people where once you know your fundamentals, you gotta go out there and do one to two, maybe two to three stagiaire projects. What does that mean? You go find some small company or maybe a friend who wants to start a company or start a website for their business and you want to run through the process of putting together their website or their basic web app or their basic mobile app. Now I'm not talking about building the next Facebook. I'm talking about putting to some, something together that's relatively modest but which demonstrates that you're able to work with other people, communicate with them, get requirements, and actually put code down that actually works. When you're just copying somebody else's project, you're just copying somebody else's uh, demo about how to, that you could potentially build a shopping cart or potentially build a CMS. Uh, these are not set in stone methodologies you know, most of the time. And if I'm looking to hire somebody, if I find that they're just showing me projects that they picked up from some course, it's not gonna impress me. It's kind of plagiarism. It's like, you know, it's kind of like copying um, somebody else's story, you know? Say, oh, I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna, here's, here's, look at this book, I, the story I wrote, it's called Harry Potter. And the guy will say, well, isn't Harry Potter written by somebody else? Yeah, it is, but I, I, I took Harry Potter and I changed the character from Harry and I call him Sammy Potter. And that's just, you know, I'm making a joke here, but that's essentially what you're doing when you're just copying a project. The whole point of the project tutorials is just to show you quickly how to use a particular tech. Like, okay, a project on how to... I don't know, a Node.js project or a Python Django project, a quick one, you know, how to build a Twitter clone. Yeah, showing that, like, is marginal importance, but you're much, much better off to spend your effort actually taking that leap, getting the stagiaire projects, if you will. You know, everybody, a lot of people go to boot camps and spend five, 10, 20,000, and a lot of people, the reason they go to the boot camps, they figure they need to get uh, they need to do this um, stagiaire work, 
Stagiaire means you go work for a company for free because they're training you. You don't need to spend five, ten thousand dollars at a boot camp to do that. You could just follow what I teach, do your fundamentals, put up a basic site that looks good, then approach companies, a butcher, a coffee shop, a, a plumbers, whatever, and say, listen, I'm willing to build your site for you. I'm willing to build a basic app for you. Something basic. Don't spend months on it. Spend you know, a couple weeks. Uh, three weeks max, and you do it for free as a way for you to, to bridge that gap between understanding concepts and code and be able to write simple things to actually being able to build something that's functional. So very important that you get away from this whole idea of being with the tutorial that 10,000 other people are doing is going to be your ticket. The tutorial, the tutorial should be a very small part of the process. So if you're looking Again, to create credibility, because that's what you're asking me ultimately. Should I put up a tutorial project that I, that I did as an example of my work? Unless you really change it quite a bit and you emphasize that. But even then, when you go up to somebody and say, look, I copied this. I changed this and this. They're going to go, okay, you copied something. But how about if you said, you know what? I built this project for this little restaurant here. They needed this, this, and this. So I leverage this and this and this technology because these is this and this and this reasons, and look what I put together. That is 100,000 times more valuable and more impressive, okay? The other thing you could do in terms of building reputation, a low uh, hanging fruit, if you will, is to get, to do certification exams. Now, in full transparency, I do have these, I sell them, but again, the certification exams are not nearly as important as actually going out there and doing the stagiaire work. That is such an important thing. If you do that, uh, your chances of actually getting a job, getting whether it be working for somebody full time or becoming a freelancer, whatever, are increased you know, tremendously, tremendously. So you gotta get away from this idea that you're gonna just show, do a tutorial that you copy off of Udemy or YouTube, and that somehow is gonna lend you a job. It could help marginally, if you change it up a bit, but it's nothing compared to actually having built something for real for some other person. Some, whether it be a business or somebody who wants to start up a business, okay? I hope that helps. Again, I could put out five, six tutorials and sell you the tutorials, hey, you should learn these tutorials, you know, and make money and say, hey, put these up on your resume. I'm telling you the truth here. I'm giving you uh, the route that works. And uh, so there's nothing to sell, you know, you go out there, you do the projects for a third-party person and you'll be much better off. Again, there's that, um, there's that leap you're going to have to take when you go from learning to code and becoming a coder, an actual coder who does something productive. If I'm hiring somebody, a coder, a programmer, a developer, I don't want them to be tutorial people. I want them to be, I want them to be problem solvers, somebody who actually knows how to code in a practical way. And the only way to do that is to actually go out there and do a real project, small little projects. Like I say, two or three is, is, is optimum. And then once you have that, then your chances of getting a job will increase uh, exponentially. That is for sure.